Right, I just uh, changed the configuration so all should be okay now. Um, but I actually expect that one of the parts, or maybe two, are still not completely rotated, for example, as they should. Um, I changed the speed of the uh, chips, and they're all 20% of maximum speed um, because with the previous run. Uh, the, the parts were not placed uh, exactly at the spot they should be um, so I think changing the speed of the parts will help with that um, especially with the, the part with the, the, the most um, pins or the, the finest pitch um, with that part of course it's um, most important the other parts uh, will align a bit by reflowing them in the oven um, so let's run it again. I hope it will not crash uh, this time. Uh, it didn't crash the last time. I hope all is okay still. So let's see if it puts all the parts in. Oh, I also forgot some LEDs um, in, the, in the configuration file. So I added them and they should all be on the board when the run is over. So let's see what it does. Alright, and now it's completely done. So I've seen a couple of uh, minor few um, uh, problems. For example, this part is missing the middle middle lead because the I think the, the tape of reel 15 I have to check. You can see it in the video, of course. Uh, was not pulled away quick enough, um, so I have to uh, change that by um, making the pulling mechanism put it a bit harder, which is quite easy. Uh, some other things, as you can see here, are not because of the of bad positioning of the the machine head. Um, for example, these this is not positioned uh, perfectly, and um, this one as well, and the other ones are quite okay. Uh, but that's mostly because the the parts were in, were not on the correct place here, and uh, or not uh, picked up at the center of the parts uh, where I put them. And many people will use some, uh, uh, for example, a 3D printed. Uh, parts instead of this tray 
to make sure the, the, the parts are always uh, at the same uh, position and centered at each of the tray holes. Uh, so that is something I could do, um, but for now I just have to make sure it will pick it up at the correct um, center of the part itself. So that's okay, and as you can see it took about you know, just over two minutes I think, um, two and a half, maybe three, for this board. Uh, it can now go in the, uh, sorry, it cannot go in the oven because there's no solar paste of course, but if you uh, do this with the machine um, with the solder based on it can directly go into the uh, reflow oven and you can put the next board in with the solder paste and um, assemble that one. So uh, that's something you can do uh, all day uh, if, it, if the machine doesn't crash or if there are enough parts on the machine as well of course um, so that's what we want. But I don't know, the results look very promising I just have to make sure that the parts are picked up at the correct position that's the most important for now I think. Oh, also you can see here the um, transistors here are j just off centered and that was because they were also not picked up at the center of the part itself as I've seen it when the parts were um, transported to the board. So that's uh, what we're going to um, fine tune um, but we're almost there. Um, so the stencil is already here. I've shown that in another video. The only thing we have to do now is uh, make space for the stencil and uh, make sure that it works because all the other parts are here. Uh, for example the solder paste is uh, waiting for the first use. But for now the, the first board is assembled um, with the SMD parts and that makes me very happy. Uh, oh, one thing I have to check is if the uh, Chinese SD card sockets that I use uh, can stand the, the heat of the oven. I have to check. Uh, one of the SD card connectors, if they uh, can can actually uh, resist the about 300 degrees that it will, or, or even more, I think, that it will uh, get to. Um, and if not, I have to do it manually afterwards. So those are the the last things I have to do manually. So the joystick connectors, of course, which are through hole, the dip switch here, um, the tactile buttons I have to place manually, I think, but. Uh, Holes for that are on the, on the stencil as well, so there will be solder press on them. It's, 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 uh, the same for SD card circuit, by the way. And of course, I have to do um, manually solder the edge connector. <sighs> A couple of days, and it will be running um, full time. <laughs> so, can't wait for it. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye.